Elon Musk just revealed something Tesla's been hiding in plain sight, and it's not on Twitter. Inside Tesla's factories, production lines are being rebuilt to hit the $25,000 Model 2 price tag while putting $12,000 back in seniors' pockets over 10 years. But here's what shocks everyone. The breakthrough isn't the car design, it's how they're building it. Can casting technology and 10-hour assembly really slash costs without cutting quality? Or is this $25,000 dream built on production promises Tesla can't keep? Ha! Huh. Here's what separates Model 2 from every affordable EV promise before it. Tesla stopped designing cars the traditional way. While legacy automakers sketch vehicles, then figure out how to build them, Musk flipped the entire script. Model 2's price was locked in before designers touched a single curve because the factory became the product itself. Think about that for a second. Most companies ask, what should this car look like? Tesla asked, how do we build it for $25,000? That's not just a different approach, it's a completely different philosophy. Traditional compact cars demand 30 to 40 labor hours per vehicle. Stamping steel, welding hundreds of joints, threading wire harnesses through impossibly tight spaces. It's manufacturing from the 1970s that somehow survived into 2025. Tesla's aiming for under 10 hours per vehicle. Some whispers suggest 7 to 8 hours once everything clicks. That's not shaving a few minutes here and there. That's tearing up the rule book and starting from scratch. The secret weapon? Those massive aluminum castings everyone talks about but few understand. Model Y already proved the concept by replacing 70 separate welded parts with single-piece structures. Model 2 goes further, eliminating between 200 and 300 individual body components. Every deleted part removes assembly steps, inspection points, and things that break at 80,000 miles. Multiply that across a million vehicles, and you're looking at billions in savings flowing straight into competitive pricing. But here's what gets me excited about this. Fewer parts don't just cut costs, they create more reliable vehicles. A welded joint can corrode. A casting can't corrode at the seam because there is no seam. This is where Tesla's strategy reveals its brilliance. The same process that slashes production costs simultaneously makes the vehicle tougher. For seniors who need a car that just works for the next decade without drama, that matters more than any spec sheet number. What's happening inside Tesla's factories right now goes way beyond faster assembly lines. Traditional manufacturing moves each vehicle through 50 stations where one team installs the dashboard, another runs the wiring, another fits the seats. If one station slows down, everything backs up. Tesla's parallel assembly throws that out completely. They're building the front section, rear section, battery pack, and interior simultaneously, then joining them near the end. This solves problems most people never think about. Workers get better at their specific tasks because they're not rushing through simple jobs on a moving line. Quality inspectors can actually examine components thoroughly before they're permanently attached. And here's the kicker. Individual stations can speed up or slow down without jamming the entire factory. The implications reach far beyond Model 2 into every vehicle Tesla builds afterward. There's a question nobody's asking that fascinates me. Did Cybertruck's production disasters actually teach Tesla how to manufacture differently? Everyone knows Cybertruck struggled hard in production. What if those struggles forced Tesla to develop parallel assembly out of pure necessity, and now Model 2 benefits from lessons already paid for in blood, sweat, and delayed deliveries? Either way, Tesla's now years ahead of competitors, still thinking sequentially. The battery represents the single most expensive piece in any electric vehicle, which makes Model 2's battery choice absolutely critical. Expected capacity lands between 40 and 50 kilowatt hours, substantially smaller than Model 3's 60 kilowatt hours or Model Y's 75 kilowatt hours packs. 
At current pricing, around $100 per kilowatt hour, a 45 kilowatt hour battery costs Tesla roughly $4,500. Model Y's battery, around $7,500. That $3,000 difference could fund the entire profit margin on a $25,000 vehicle. But watch this timing element closely. Battery costs dropped from $140 per kilowatt hour in 2023 to around $100 in 2024, a 28% plunge in 12 months. If that continues through 2026, when Model 2 launches, costs could hit $80 per kilowatt hour. Suddenly, that 45 kilowatt hour pack costs $3,600 instead of $4,500, an extra $900 in wiggle room. Is Tesla deliberately timing Model 2's launch to ride this cost curve? Because if they are, that $25,000 price stops being a moonshot and starts looking almost guaranteed. Here's something most reviews miss. A 45 kilowatt hour pack delivers about 250 to 280 miles of real world range. For seniors driving to doctor's appointments, grocery stores, and occasional weekend trips, that's perfect. They're not commuting 60 miles daily or taking monthly road trips. Range anxiety disappears when your typical day rarely exceeds 30 miles. Tesla designed Model 2's battery around actual usage patterns instead of worst case scenarios. That's how you optimize for affordability without compromising real utility. Those structural castings that slash costs create a trade-off everyone avoids mentioning. Traditional steel construction means when you get in a fender bender, shops replace individual panels for $150 to $400. A massive casting changes everything. Minor damage may be repairable. Serious impact? You're looking at $3,000 to $5,000 to replace entire sections. Insurance companies already noticed this with Model Y. Some carriers raise premiums specifically because of repair cost uncertainty. Early Model 2 buyers could face similar insurance penalties until enough claims data accumulates. Over 10 years, an extra $300 annually in insurance adds up to $3,000 in costs nobody mentions when they're talking about affordability. The lower sticker price gets partially offset by higher insurance, at least for the first few years. Tesla's betting volume solves this naturally. As millions of Model 2 vehicles hit the road, repair shops gain experience, third-party suppliers create alternatives, and insurance companies build better pricing models. But that takes three to five years minimum. Early adopters subsidize that learning curve through higher premiums. It's not a deal breaker, but it's real money that should factor into decisions. The math on labor reduction gets wild when you scale it. Fully burdened labor costs Tesla about $60 per hour. Cut 20 labor hours from each vehicle and you've saved $1,200 per unit. At 500,000 vehicles annually, that's $600 million flowing to either profits or competitive pricing. At a million vehicles, $1.2 billion in cumulative savings. This is why Ford and GM can't just copy Tesla's playbook, even when they understand it perfectly. Their factories were built around sequential assembly with high labor content. Retrofitting plants for massive casting machines and parallel workflows cost billions and takes years. By the time they finish, Tesla's three generations ahead. The competitive advantage isn't just technological, it's architectural and temporal. They literally can't catch up fast enough. The vulnerability in Tesla's strategy? Quality maintenance with skeleton crews. Fewer workers means each inspection point becomes critical. One systemic defect escaping detection triggers recalls costing far more than any labor savings. Tesla's betting their systems and automated checks maintain standards that traditionally required human oversight. That's probably a safe bet given their track record, but it's still a bet. When you add up $4,500 battery costs, $1,200 labor savings, and casting efficiencies, Model 2 works profitably between $25,000 and $30,000.
But let's get specific because vague ranges hide the real story. Say Tesla prices it at $27,500. Federal tax credits drop that to $20,000 for qualified buyers. That's used Honda Civic money for a brand new Tesla with software updates, autopilot, and the supercharger network. Look at the battlefield. Toyota Corolla starts at $22,000 before dealer markups, and you're stuck with 2015 technology. Honda Civic runs $24,000 to $26,000 with similar compromises. Nissan Leaf offers electric at $28,000 but with battery tech from 2018, mediocre software, and zero charging infrastructure outside cities. Model 2 at $27,500 doesn't just compete, it dominates by offering superior technology at comparable pricing. Here's the strategic question that keeps me up at night. What if Tesla prices it at $24,999 just to break the psychological barrier? Even at thinner margins, the brand value justifies it. Once seniors experience Tesla ownership with minimal maintenance and integrated software, they become lifetime customers. This reframes Model 2 as a customer acquisition play disguised as a profit center. The $12,000 savings figure sounds too good, so let's break it down hard. A gas compact averaging 30 miles per gallon driven 10,000 miles yearly, burns 333 gallons annually. At $3.50 per gallon, and we know gas spikes higher, that's $1,165 yearly. Over 10 years, $11,650 in fuel, assuming stable prices, which never happens. Model 2 should hit 250 to 300 watt hours per mile based on Model 3's performance. At 10,000 annual miles, that's 2,700 kilowatt hours yearly. Average electricity costs 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Annual charging, $405. Ten-year total, $4,050. That's $7,600 in fuel savings before considering anything else. Maintenance costs complete the picture. Gas vehicles need oil changes every 5,000 miles two annually at $60 each. Add transmission service, filters, spark plugs, exhaust repairs. Industry data shows $800 to $1,200 yearly as vehicles age. 10-year total, $8,000 to $12,000. Model 2 eliminates most of this. No oil changes, no transmission fluid, no spark plugs, no exhaust corroding from road salt. Regenerative braking extends brake life past 100,000 miles. Realistic Tesla maintenance, $300 to $500 yearly for tire rotations and filters. 10-year total, $3,000 to $5,000. Another $5,000 to $7,000 saved. Combine fuel and maintenance, and you genuinely get $12,000 to $14,000 in savings over 10 years. For seniors on fixed incomes, that's not marketing talk, it's financial survival. The caveat? This assumes electricity prices stay stable and Tesla parts remain affordable post-warranty. If either breaks, savings shrink. Model 3 and Model Y already carry insurance 10 to 20% higher than gas cars. Higher repair costs, limited shops, insufficient data. If Model 2 inherits this, Owners face an extra $200 to $400 yearly. Over 10 years, that's $2,000 to $4,000 eroding headline savings. Tesla's counting on volume to fix this. As hundreds of thousands hit the road, insurance companies get better data, shops develop expertise, rates normalize. But that takes years. Early adopters face premium uncertainty until the market adjusts. This creates an interesting timeline dynamic. First-year owners see modest savings after insurance. By year five, as rates normalize and maintenance advantages compound, the gap widens. By year 10, cumulative savings hit those compelling $12,000 figures. The insight? Model 2 is a long-term financial decision, not immediate cost reduction. 
For seniors keeping vehicles for decades, the timeline aligns perfectly. So here's the answer. Can Tesla hit $25,000 without cutting corners? The factory floor already proved it. Model 2's affordability comes from rewriting manufacturing itself, casting technology eliminating 300 parts, parallel assembly cutting labor to 10 hours, battery costs dropping to $80 per kilowatt hour by 2026. These aren't theories. They're production realities happening now. That $12,000 in 10-year savings? Basic math once you remove engines that break, transmissions that fail, and endless maintenance costs. But here's what matters most. Model 2 isn't just one affordable EV. It's the blueprint for every Tesla that follows. Once they perfect 7-hour assembly and sub-$4,000 battery packs, those advantages flow everywhere. This is how mass adoption happens making EVs the financially obvious choice. We're watching EVs transition from premium purchases to default smart decisions, with Model 2 potentially launching at $24,999. That shift accelerates faster than anyone projects. What's your take? Will this force legacy automakers to rebuild from scratch? Drop your thoughts below. If this breakdown clarified Model 2's real pricing strategy, Smash that like button, subscribe to Tesla Zone, and hit the notification bell for more analysis connecting factory floors to real affordability. The EV revolution is being built right now. See you in the next one.